Hi everyone. In today's lesson, I'll be going through the answers for the non-verbal reasoning practice paper. So let's get started. Section six, odd one out. For each question below, there are five shapes. One of the shapes is not like the others. Find the figure that represents the odd one out. Okay, so we look at this example. Let's try a first thing, which is how many sides does each shape have? This shape has one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so it's not the number of sides. What else then could it be? Well, another thing to think about is symmetry. You can see here that each of these shapes have a line of symmetry through them, vertical line of symmetry, except for this one. We did this, that does not count as a symmetrical line. That's why D is the answer. Okay, on to question one. Okay, with well, these types, we've got different shapes. That's good to start to count what we've got inside. So here we've got one diamond and four squares. Later, we'll think about black and white if this doesn't help us. Here we've got two diamonds, three diamonds, sorry, and two squares. Here we've got one, two, three diamonds and two squares. Here we've got three diamonds and two squares. And here we have three diamonds and two squares. So it looks like we don't even have to look at the color. It's obvious that A is the odd one out because it has, sorry, it has two diamonds and three squares. That's what I meant to write. Two diamonds and three squares. Okay, question three. Let's have a look at what's going on with the circles. Okay, here we've got a small black circle attached to a black circle, small black circle attached to a black, two black circles attached to a white, two black circles attached to a black, and three attached to a black. So the number is different every time. So what must be the problem is C because the black circles are attached to the white part rather than the red part. Question three, let's have a look. So these all look like we've got here, we've got a square inside a square in B, right? This square is a smaller version of the bigger square. Here we've got a square inside a square. Here we've got trapezium inside of trapezium. And here we have a sort of bean shape inside a bean shape. But in A, we have a problem because we have not a circle inside the circle, but an oval. So this is why this one is the odd one out. In question four, let's have a look at the placement of the circles. So here the circles is on a corner, on a corner, or a tip or on a corner, on a corner. Here it's on the side and here it's on a corner. So that tells us that D must be the odd one out because the circle is not on a corner. Okay. Question five. All right, let's think about counting sides again because the arrows are going everywhere, aren't they? There's no pattern to the arrows, they're pointing in every direction. So let's see how many sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Okay, pretty easy. Odd one out is A with the six sides. Number six. We've got different shapes again, so let's do some counting of what we've got. Here we've got two multiplications and one plus. Here we've got two plus and one multiplication. Here we've got four multiplications and two pluses. Here we've got three multiplications and one plus. Oops. And here we've got four multiplications and two plus. Now you might look at that and say, don't see any pattern there because it's all different. But what you can see is there is one shape where I should have put all the multiplications at the front. It'll be easier to see. Okay. So the multiplications are in the top row, right? And the additions are in the bottom row. And can you see that in each case, in A, there's more multiplications than additions. In B, however, there is less. But in C, D, and E, there's more multiplications. So B is our odd one out. Okay, number seven. So we've got two types of lines in each of these ones. One line is made up of this kind of shape, and the other line is made up of this kind of shape. So this we're going to call the shape that just has one angle. And this is the shape that has 
two angles. And can you see here, so this, so, so let's highlight all the one angle shapes. This is a tricky one. But once you highlight like this, all the one angle shapes, can you see that all of them have a white circle on the end, apart from D, which has a black circle. Bit tricky, but get yeah, there in the end. Okay, so here, this is just looking at this one overall. I just see like this is look like it's pointing downwards, pointing downwards, pointing downwards, and this feels to me like it's pointing upwards. So E to me is the odd one out because it doesn't have one of its corners pointing in a downwards direction. Number nine. So if we have a look, we've got three different types of broken lines. So where's the biggest? The biggest piece here. Let's highlight all the biggest pieces. Now, straight away we can see we have an odd one out, don't we? B. Because B has a smaller dotted line for the biggest piece. And you can go through and check the rest. And you'll see that that's why B is the incorrect odd one out. Okay, and finally, question 10. Right, here we've got solid colour, solid colour, solid colour, line colour, I'll call it, for the line. We've got line, solid, line, solid, line, solid. So which one's the odd one out? These, this one here, where we have two solids. That's the end of section six. That concludes today's lesson on our non-verbal reasoning paper. Students can now utilise our entire library of over 150 video lessons and 1,500 exam style questions dedicated towards the 11 plus exam covering English, maths, verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning.